and then I shoot before I die. Got tackle collision off. Okay. Like that. Okay. And uh, maybe if you could turn up the brightness a bit. Yeah, let's see if I have display brightness all the way up. Yeah, like that. Perfect. There we go. That's much better. Yeah, much. Um, okay. So, uh, so and now so I'm. We'll, yeah. No, so so what 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 you're looking at here is um, a a retexture of a good chunk of the green cave set. Yeah. Um, there's probably in in the in the assets that we retextured in the green cave set. There's about 250 of them. Uh, they're all in this cell right here. Um, and what what I've done to them is uh, taken them into uh, 3D modeling software and Blender. I remove the vertex painting, remove some decals, and um, just clean them up a bit, and and put them back into the game. So they're so they're at the same scale, the same basic geometry, and just different uh, textures, so that so that just, you can use it in different uh, situations. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Other than that, they they snap together exactly as you'd expect for you know any any piece of the Skyrim. Ooh, I um, used to shout there. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the point of um, retexturing in like uh, for the mods is that you can actually use multiple um, well color palettes in your dungeons. So, for example, if you have a cold cave, you want to use a more grayish version instead of the old greenish Nordic uh, set. And so we have, I think, three new, completely new uh, palettes. We have this Nordic cave, uh, which is um, just a cave looking but then for Nordic dungeons so you have like all of the normal textures there and then we also have let's see I need to tap out just to see that the name reach caves yeah we have um, you know what I'm gonna do like that you can see the, the thing pop up on your discord not on yep. the screen and then I can just read them out Ooh, one button I can just read them out. Okay, so you have um, reach caves, of course. Three A's in front of it, though. Oh yeah, thank you. And then it loads. As always. Holy shit. It's like being on the PlayStation 3. <laughs> or just loading anything. Yeah. yeah on, exactly. on the PC of my quality. Uh, PC out of 2014. Yeah. So you have Reach Caves. What what difference in texture is here or? Well, yeah. What I, what I've done with the with the reach caves, is I just applied the same huh? Nordic uh, look to the walls, but just added a, the cave dirt floor. Um, also, in addition to um, the retexturing in this, as compared to the other one, I've also changed the havoc materials for the floor. Um, ah. So, yeah, things will stick in it, bounce off of it. You want to move that see. warnings menu there? Uh, yeah, it's quite in the way. You, you can see it on the recording, but it's in the way yeah. for you there. This <laughs> <laughs> looks weird. Uh, let's see if I actually have a bow in my inventory, otherwise I'll just cheat it in. I don't. Let's see. Help. Bow. Player. Up, add item. Oh. oh shit! Wrong button. What the fuck? To see. Hey, watch that language there. Oh sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course you also need an arrow. Uh, help. Arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, 
I need to find an arrow first. This is really. Oh my god. There it is. Add item. Just one Nordic arrow is fine. Thank you. Three B. Rainbow arrow. Why? Oh my god. Um, to actually just say, hey, I killed your brethren to the dragons that you are going going to impale. Anecdotes, um, I actually had like an entire set of uh, Dragonbone armor and I named every set of Dragonbone armor to a, a dragon name in the game. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so it, it was quite brutal to... <laughs> you, you mean like this? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah if, you, if you shoot that at the wall it should bounce off. It should bounce off. <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe that was the wrong place to shoot it. Try <laughs> <laughs> or just the wrong mesh to shoot. Yeah, wrong mesh to shoot. None of these wall. Uh, okay, well I have to go back. To <laughs> okay. Again. It's not a bug. It's a future. Yeah, it's not. A, it's not a huge problem. <laughs> it's still fixable. It's actually. It does stop them before they actually go into the wall. It's just a magic force field. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's it's just the difference between switch, switching the material between stone and that might actually be not not gravel, but um, go go over to one of the pillars. Uh, I will. I'm not even gonna bother trying to pick it up because I'm in uh, different mode. Let's see, pillars or in, anywhere inside the hallway. Uh, there's a pillar. Let's see if I can shoot it. Also sticks in. Okay, hmm. we'll have to take a look at that. Yeah. Anyway, the point was is that we're gonna we're gonna, <laughs> yeah. we're gonna have all these set up appropriately for for the material that you're working with. Um, that's that's it. It's just a matter of toggling toggling havoc materials. Oh, so awesome already. I mean, like you can see new assets until your eyes bleed. Yes. <laughs> There's so so much new stuff, and I'm already like. Oh, what is that? Is that a hole? This or is like a. Um, this is the shaft. Yeah, this uh, is the shaft. Oh. Okay. So with all of the the different um, entrances and uh, exits. So, uh, yeah, and we, we can uh, use these all just to make new, uh, like every dungeon f have its own uh, have its own feel. So for example, if you're in the reach, uh, you have these walls, uh, which is completely different when you are in Falkrath. Um, oh. Uh, where you should should expect green caves. Hmm. Uh, that was the plan at least. Now let's also show off the snow caves because I'm really excited for those. Uh, that's adding items. That's not what I want to do. I actually want to teleport. C C C. Yeah. A A A. Snow caves. Like there. Okay, so it's it's not fully snow. It's like um, uh, which you wouldn't expect, of course, in a cave because all of the snow can't reach. Yeah, I, I was sort of torn between what what texture to put on the floor. I mean, it can be swapped out, but um, yeah, like I, di I didn't want to go with full snow cover because it just didn't make any sense. Yeah, and we we inside. still have we still have the the snow um, mounts. Yeah. already in the the request mod i uh, will go to my uh test uh, fourth in f2 and you can put those in if you want to have like a, a pile of snow for example if you have uh, a skylight you can use those and you can also use the normal exterior set for that as well sure. could you just do me a favor and shoot an arrow off one of the walls in there <laughs> sure it's still in okay i'm yeah i'll take a look at that yeah tonight. okay yeah, I mean, I I get that one bounced off, I think. No, I didn't. Hmm. Huh. It it doesn't go in completely. Uh, or in contradiction to this one, this actually. Oh, well, maybe. Oh, maybe it's just. just yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean. I know what it is. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah, so it's it's the same assets uh, like the other caves. It's just with a different coating, and um, for everyone that's going to use this, which we are going to put it in, uh, like uh, everyone can use it as soon as it comes out. It's going to be open source. 
Um, so if you are a mother and you want to do like level design and, and you want to create like a snowy kind of level, you don't have to use the green cave asset, which or like the icy cave, which is more like a uh, well, I, I, it does remind me of uh, Icelandic caves, but it's not how uh, caves in Skyrim, like all caves of Skyrim, should behave. So mm. you have more, um, just more creativity uh, and options to to work with. I, I do like. I don't have any sound on, but but I do just do like the feeling of shooting it in there. Um, I will also just teleport myself to. Let's see. I think it was Tony's. So the BG halls. Are you? Test. Uh, let's see if. Is it? Yeah, it's an underscore, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this was my uh, test thing before I actually really decided to uh, get like a bigger team. Um, I think I even had Emperor. I actually had your plan here that oh. was supposed to kill kill me. Uh, I removed Just the script, so, so oh. that was like the script. But then I I wanted to test out before I kill myself by a trigger box. I wanted to test out if it's. All right. Button. So when you press the button, you get killed. Yeah, and there was a skylight right here that uh, said, "Hey, you are in the skylight." Just like trying to get back into the scripting work, which I didn't have to do. Yeah, but uh, you can already see this is like the the gray halls, the the predecessor to the gray halls. Uh, which means that you now have instead of the the yellow greenish uh, version, you also have uh, a gray version, like your um, yeah, like like the external um, assets you can find. I also remember trying to make this smaller because if you actually, that's I'm fine. Uh, There, I just tested like a lot of things right here. Let's see. Yeah, I, uh, cut the glitches, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what I um, try to do is, uh, to me, it looks like you're an end right now. Uh, in like this huge cave, it doesn't seem uh. practical for the Nords to make it, and it's really, it's going to be really difficult to actually make every dungeon smaller. I just wanted to try it, and it's it still worked. Uh, but it's what is that thing called? That thing you need to press. What is it called? What? The thing you need to press. You told me to pr uh, when you press something you die. Oh yeah, no, the the this button. Uh, I actually had oh. this button racked up. Uh, don't have it anymore. But if I press this button, I got killed, and I got a message: Hey, you got killed. Yeah. Okay. But do you know what the thing is called? So I can I can make it now. Um, so. it's a the one button I think. It's in activators, but okay, that's cool. that's quite clear because it's a button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <okay. laughs> yeah. Um, um. Let's see. You wanted me to go to. Um. The, the let's see. Uh, AA big halls. BG halls. Um, yeah, so this this is um, most of most of the uh, the Nordic dungeon set. I I, uh, I retextured like the uh, like the the gray caves or, or or the rest of what we have here. I, I hadn't um, finished uh, f uh, visited this yet in oh, like, my my testing, so I'm I'm now like looking with an open mouth. Just wow. <laughs> yeah, this is this to me. This is like awesome. It's a dream come true. Um, as you can see, this is one of my requests to 22, which made all of these three textures. Um, we re we decided to remove all of the skele skeletons because if you um, if you want to repurpose this uh, this room, because this is the catacombs, but if you want to make like a storage room in uh, a dungeon, you don't have to go through and like, uh, hey, that's a skeleton, that's a skeleton. I can't use that for a storage room, or you can still, but it's like. With skeletons still. Um, yeah. Now you can just put back in the skeletons if you want to uh, later on, if it's still going to be a, 
a uh, tomb instead of just being forced to open the skeletons. Same goes for most of the, the vegetation. I mean, this is fine, because otherwise I have seen it, it just looks really weird. It's it's a fairly harsh scene. Like it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, the scene was really hard. Um, and it just like it, it doesn't look like the normal um, the normal thing anymore. Yeah, and leaving that geometry there, that's not to say that we wanted to swap out that that mossy texture for something else with an alpha channel. We it could yeah. be like a dangling set of cobwebs or something. Yeah, or we can it, make a different color of because this is of course greenish moss, but um, I believe there is also like orangey moss and bluish moss that we can use. Yeah, so give um, that texture, yeah. that texture itself for the moss is the I think it's the detail overgrowth. Uh, yeah, file. it's in the entire detail overgrowth file. Um, same yeah. with like the poison ivies that are hanging from, uh, well these places which were also removed. Mm -hmm. So this is like a really, really clear set, and uh, plans are to you just be as as someone that uses request sources, uh, you just being able to place back those things if you need it, because it's yeah, it's going to be an excellent. similarly in in these small catacombs there were there were actually there were actually lights in addition to skeletons and pelts and all that stuff, um, and those were billboards like two um, D objects basically. Yeah. And, and contain some lighting information and all that's been removed just just for the sake of keeping it clean I guess yeah yeah so now you, you basically have just new assets and you can do with them whatever you want uh, this still looks a bit weird is, is it the same mesh or is it like uh, the same texture yeah, it's, listed on? no it's the same mesh it, and oh, it okay. should be and I like there might no, be a few. yeah I mean like is it uh, the same texture mess mesh so is it connected oh. to the same texture because um, the doorways would yeah, probably think not would. be. No. No, I don't okay. think so. Okay, because otherwise that, that could be yeah. switched. Yeah. Because otherwise we we like we may be able to make, put like uh, some texture like the flooring or metal. Maybe that would look more clean, but still this is fine. Yeah, absolutely. This is, I can already like. Uh, imagine the, the the levels that uh, Dylan and me were going to try to make uh, come reality. It's also really weird to see this one. <laughs> uh, I think this was uh, this is the the thing for like um, the all of the death uh, things, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, in White Run you have the Hall of the Death. Uh, oh yes, yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was it was there to do so I did it. Yeah, yeah. Even more just to to work with if you are a aspiring modder or level designer. And again, like so much more options now if you have and uh, this. You turn around there at the end of one of the hallways. There should be transitions from from this set to the other cave sets. Um, um where? I'm also going to just going to tr try just just for your sake. I think you you please yeah, it's also in here. <laughs> <laughs> just wanted to know for sure. <laughs> okay, so maybe that's like a problem in my because uh, I did convert this was an ESP at first, but yeah. for it to to work with like uh, multiple mods, I wanted to try to make it an ESM, which I'm now using the ESM file. I see. So maybe that's uh, like a conversion uh, problem. Possibly. Okay, so you want to see the. Um, um, uh, let's see if I can find it. That looks like it, but it's not. No, that's a trap door. Uh, that's an animated static. Uh, you can attach. You can create that as a door, yeah. and it will it will uh, open when you activate it, or trigger it with a trap of some sort. Yeah. Um. I think That's I saw it area. already. Yeah, I think I saw it already uh, when I was walking over. Yeah, you have this part. Oh, someone got a message. I got a message at least. Oh yeah, me too. All right, Hello. I just made the button thing work now. So uh, let's let's, let's just. F I want to check first because I'm in the game. What? I think uh, that moment I need to head out. Okay, yeah. Good. And yeah, no, I know that was that message was in this call and not in the. Oh different yeah. Thing. Let's see. 
Yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're in. in. Yeah, I <laughs> just, okay. just realized it. Yeah. Yeah, so you've got transitions from one um, one type of uh, dungeon to one type of cave. Yeah, and to me, this just just um, this transition just looks so much more smooth because it's about the same texture, or at least it's in the same texture. So it feels like um, maybe they uh, they had to like build a new part here and it just broke up hmm. instead of just being it being a cave. Uh, you you can do a lot of uh, world building stuff with this, and and this this also looks really nice. Just the the snow uh, barely moving in. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. <laughs> For me, like, uh, this is like walking a, a kid walking into a candy store. <laughs> I I I had like this aspiration to make all of those assets like uh, three years back. I uh, just never had like the the spend time to do it. Ah, okay. Well, so this is I another. I do understand how you make line. all this. It looks so cool. It looks cool. I don't and, know. I really struggle level designing. I can make a basic still, and that's it. <laughs> all, all this, this, this is monotonous stuff. So, so thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know. A, I mean, there's obviously some room for improvements in some of the objects, but um, you you have at least the time. So, <laughs> yeah, well, and at least at this point, we're not at, we're not saying okay, well, we need four hundred of them. We just need one or two fixed up, and and those can be addressed individually. Um, this so, this yeah. feels so much more realistic to uh, to me. Like this feels like you're in Scandinavia, uh, just. Oh, thank in... you, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the the Dane here just. <laughs> no, it feels like, um, I've been in Germany and I've been in uh, Denmark sometimes, mm -hmm. and I like I love watching uh, just pictures of, um, like tombs, not tombs, or just like ancient buildings, and just just looks like it's it's one of those. Uh, things in um, northeastern Germany or mm. Denmark, just oh, yeah. one of the the burial mounds or like a a little um, a religious place. Yeah. And then of course this this looks way cleaner, so it looks like it's like for royalty and not for the the, the common <laughs> rebel of yeah. Skyrim. Oh, I should I should point out too that, that with these assets, I also had to do vertex painting on them as well. The a lot of the insides of the catacombs had this brown color on them, and if if you look at the shafts, I I think it's still present. It was a it was a dirt color that sort of yeah. matched better with the um, with the greenish brown original textures. But these are all I, I I shouldn't say I vertex painted them. All I did was convert the the color information that was present in the vertex painting data to luminosity. So. I just desaturated it. Um, so Let's see, um, I'm just going to go to the shafts right here. I mean, likely you didn't need these shafts. Yeah, I did actually. Okay. Um, if yeah. you go in, if you go into the oh right yeah, now, no, I remember this because I actually tried uh, painting this, and that was before, uh, like before we knew it was vertex paint. But I tried retexturing this, and every texture I used on it, it just said, "Yeah, no, I'll, I'll be a little browner." <clears throat> so, th so so that's what it is and and it, i've got a plug in that just you can one click the um all the vertex colors from a color to a to a light level or just desaturate it with one shot that's, so that's a better plug in yeah okay yeah it was a, yeah i'll uh, i'll send you the link but um cool it's it's really handy it was it was indispensable for doing the caves and getting rid of all that green yeah yeah i mean i did it i tried to do it in the nif scope yeah. And this cup just does not lend itself for that task. I think I got like one case cave um, assets uh, right because the cave assets, the the ice cave assets, like have have loads of vertex paints uh, because they want it to be a little more bluish. Mm. And I got it done, but it took me like one and a half hours to get all the vertex paint uh, things and convert them to one solid color. Yeah, I'd be still working on this stuff if I had to actually paint it all. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think we, we actually would have done it then because it, it just takes more time than it's actually worth. So, uh, by that token, if everything has been desaturated, it, it also opens up the possibility for 
putting other types of textures on it if yeah. that's something that you know, needs to be done right yeah. it won't be it won't be disturbed by the by the vertex colors and it's visible again yes mm -hmm. awesome you remember what to type no i just made the safe uh oh, in the okay. same uh so yeah sure uh, because I actually anticipated to die uh, by your scripts. Um, okay, let's see. The button is going to kill you. It's yes. Okay. Confirmation that it works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only one Nord was harmed in the making of this video. <laughs> <laughs> Two Nords now. <laughs> And that's the kill area. <laughs> yeah, that works too. Okay, so what's going on here is uh, we want to have uh, multiple scripts too. Uh, I'm talking to the audience, of course. <laughs> okay, I'm doing that again. Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here um, is um, we want to make sure that if you are on water, you actually go slower. So. Um, right here you go a lot faster and then for a dungeon that we have or multiple dungeons that we get wherein you actually have water where you wade through um, you're not going to be um, as fast in water so we want to see if that actually has a fun gameplay effect too um, so imagine walking through water and you being a bit slower and then you want them to go up into a dry space to fight some dragger and then for another reason, um, if I'm going to walk in here, I'm going to die. And that's because we want to have a really clear distinction in where you can go and where you can't go in your um, in the, the dungeons. If you have like a really steep fall, instead of us being forced to make like a different way out, it's just going to behave like a trap where you die. Um, and, and that's maybe like something that can be controversial um, so we'll, we'll try our best uh, level designers like me will try our best to um, use it sparingly but it's just way more it's like a way bigger shock if you uh, die first hand at the start of a dungeon because you fall off a cliff yeah I think that's it Come on, don't 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 make this awkward for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure, we will do that. Just gave me the silent treatment. I I <laughs> why though? Do I deserve it that much? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, okay. So would yeah. that would that button be a kill switch? <laughs> <laughs> Just a port mission, a port mission. <laughs> Just have like the the um, debug message display. You've been killed by some unknown grammar force. Oh. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, um, I think I think that's everything we we wanted to go over tonight. Holy shit, my level design skills is so good. Look at this. <laughs> it's actually... <laughs> I would say this is actually a pretty good test room. Yeah. <laughs> Straightforward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Straightforward. You. It's pretty It's pretty well lit. I can <laughs> I can see my character in full glory. That's good. Nice armor. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just stole it from uh, QA Smoke. Oh. I was Ooh, naked. Oh, <laughs> <the> fly. <laughs> I'm stuck in the the roof. Oh my god. That's uh. <clears throat> oh no, that's the. Oh, that's the. Okay, that's. The... Oh, it's there. It's between yeah. those two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we can do something for with that. You can actually, uh, I think, you can take a follower to the place, and then he'll die. Okay. Um, then, then, because this is the end, 
Um, I really want to thank everyone that's tuned in to this video, uh, watched uh, the last 40 minutes uh, of us rambling about what we've done. Uh, I'm really excited personally to get this out. Um, I, I want to take my time, of course, because it's, it's going to drain me uh, in, in fun. I, I won't speak for the other people, but I, I think it's the same for them. Uh, confirmation about that? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah. Boundless enthusiasm. <laughs> honestly. No, seriously. With the, yeah, it sounds so boundless enthusiast. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm I'm really excited to to uh, start